welcome to your program, Jeremiah 2911, with your host, Reverend Dexter Peltzer and Dr. Marisol Peltzer. Today we have an exciting program at OCN for you. And today I have our spiritual mother, Mary Kay Baxter, with us. Yay! Yeah. So I'm really excited, Mary, that you're here with us today. Yes. And we're going to be talking about God's greatness. Yes. And, you know, we feel that today there's anointing for healing and that God is going to be doing miracles and wonders. So if you need a miracle, if you need a healing, call in your prayer request. At the end of the program, we're going to be praying for the prayer needs. Amen, Amen. Mary? Amen. Yes, honey. Yes. So, Mary, can you say hello to the studio audience? Hello, everyone. We're glad to be, I'm glad to be back here. Uh, came for a, a few days here. Marcel says, we're going on TV tonight. Better get a message ready. So, we got a good message for you. And the name of the message is, how big is God? Amen. And before we begin today, I want to encourage you, you know, marriage Mary is a prolific writer, and her writing is anointed by the Holy Spirit. And tonight, I want to feature two of her books, one that changes people's lives tremendously, A Divine Revelation of Hell. As you know, the Lord took her to hell for 30 days um, to reveal to her many things so if you have somebody that doesn't know the Lord, this is a great evangelistic tool for you to use. And also another book that I read that is powerful is The Power of the Blood of Jesus. How do you overcome the power of sin in your life? How do you walk in divine health and in wholeness through the blood of Jesus? Living in peace and divine protection through the blood of Jesus sharing the gospels with others and bringing loved ones to God and the power of the blood. It has the power to do that in your life. So you can go to her website, www.marykbaxterinc.com or any live um, Christian bookstore and order her books and they are a blessing to you. I know that the divine revelation of heaven was, is one of my favorite books, along with the one about angels. And those have changed my life. So I would encourage you to buy the books and, and, and to buy some to give to some people that you want to know Jesus. Amen. And like Mary said today, the topic is the greatness of God. And you know, the scripture tells us in Jeremiah 10, 6, there's none like you, O Lord. You are great, and great is your name in my Amen. 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 And then I want to read you another scripture. It says, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, who is also to be feared above all. And what is so amazing when I was reading this, fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. And before I, I turn it over to Mary, I want to read you this scripture, 1 Chronicles 29, 11. And it is amazing. It talks about God's greatness. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Amen. That is amazing, Mary. Oh, amen, honey. Amen. Yeah. He has all the power, and his name is over everything. Amen. Why don't we pray and invite yes. him in, Mars? Why don't you pray and we invite in the anointing of the Lord? Father, in the Jesus. name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we just thank oh, you, Lord. Oh, yes, Father. We just Glory worship you and name. exalt your name. Glory to your name, Lord. Father, we just declare your wow. greatness Hallelujah. and your power and your majesty. Hallelujah. There's none like you, Lord. You are a faithful Lord, God, Lord, Father. Lord, we just praise you. Yes. You are the God of heaven. 
the great yes, and yes, awesome yes. God who preserves the wow. covenantness, the yes, covenant yes, with yes, us and your loving kindness. Yes, Lord. For those, for those who love you and keep your yes, commandments. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, we just thank you. Yes, And Lord we just Jesus. surrender this program to you. And, and we just lift it up to you, Father, and for you to speak. And mm -hmm. for you to reveal yourself to the people, Father. Yes, Lord. And we just thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Yes, Lord. For your anointing and for your presence. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You were telling me about Genesis, Mary. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say, Marcel, that we, every opportunity we can take to talk about Jesus, we need to. Mm -hmm. Every opportunity and everyone watching tonight, we just want to speak from our heart. How big is this God you serve? Do you really know this God you serve? All yes. of the books I've written have been given to me by the Holy Ghost. And uh, also they're, they're from the hell book to the last book. It talks about supernatural things of God. And they're written in God's word. And it's really to let us know who God is, how great he is. And in the book of Genesis, we did not, I'm telling you, come from a fish or what is it that we're supposed to come from a fish or a monkey or all these tells you here God never had you come from a fish or a monkey God created Adam and he opened a, Adam's side and brought out a bone and made a woman how big do you think God is God is so powerful that he can part the sea Mars off he Amen. spoke God is so powerful in Genesis it tells you how big he is first two chapters of Genesis in the Holy Bible, Marcel tells us wonders, signs, and miracles that God did. He could actually take the dirt, Marcel, and make a human being. Mm -hmm. So I learned a long time ago, even as a little girl, the God I serve is no wimp. He's not a fairy tale. He is real. And the God that you and I serve, he created the very dirt, the earth we walk on. He commanded the earth to give forth food, Marcel. He commanded everything. He, command, he made the animals. He made the birds. He made people for his pleasure. And as you read the first chapter of Genesis, I just want to draw your attention to a couple of scriptures because we're going to have miracles here tonight. Amen. There are going to be people healed here tonight by the name of Jesus Christ and through the blood. And I'm going to go to Genesis chapter 1. And if you have your Bibles, I want you to look in it, please. And uh, hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. What does that mean, Marcel? In his own image, when God created a man. And in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. That shows, Marcel, you didn't come from a monkey mm -hmm. and you didn't come from a fish. Mm -hmm. You believe that? Yes. <laughs> Amen. I don't I want laugh. to look like I a laugh. monkey. The, the, the wisdom of God is so great. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish, the sea, the fowls of the air, and every living thing that moveth upon the earth. God gave men and women dominion. And as you go and you grow up in the Lord, you become born again, a baby, and you begin hearing all these crazy tales and about different things you should do or different things you should say. But God wants a people to give their heart to him, Marcel. He wants you to understand how much he loves you. He cares about you. He cares about your ingrown toenail. Marcel, one time I had one, and uh, for days I suffered with it. In the middle of the night, God sent an angel and fixed my big toe. He really did. Amen. He pulled on it. I said, glory to God. And, I did, and he took that ingrown toenail out. Because he cared. Isn't that crazy? To care? Little bitty things mean so much to God. And anything you ask him when you're a newborn baby, I guarantee you'll get it. Right, Marcel? Mm -hmm. But when you get older, you get more corrected. You know, <laughs> it, it's so amazing. He cares about everything. You know, this is going to sound crazy to you, but we have a doggy, and his name is Plunkett. <laughs> He's a little Maltese. Mm -hmm. He's something else. You know, he lost a tooth in the front. And you know that we like, oh, Lord, bless Pumpkin, you know. 
And we pray for him. And did you know God regrew his tooth? Well, we asked God to, to grow we his tooth. We asked God to regrow his yeah. tooth, and he did. And if God took such care of this little doggy, <laughs> how's he not going to take care of us who are created in his image? And he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. You know, he cares about every minor detail in our lives. He really does. You know, and it's amazing. You know, in the Bible it says that he knows how many ha hairs we have in our head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's amazing to me. And how many millions of people are in the world? Man. Many, many, many. And you know, Marcia, I'm so blessed. I, I have a lot of experiences with God. and He showed me heaven. He showed me Miraculous things I've never even talked about. He showed me how a little soul of a baby, when the, when the woman miscarries a baby, there's a little vapor of smoke, Marshall, mm -hmm. comes out of that little baby and angels catch it in some kind of container and take it to heaven and lay it on the altar of God and God himself creates a child out of that living soul. Mm -hmm. People, God is real. And, and when you get to know how big is this God you serve, you can have more faith. So we're trying to build your faith tonight, honey. And then I want to give you another. Can I give another scripture? Go ahead, Mary. Uh, Genesis chapter 2, down to verse 5. And every plant of the field, before it was in the earth, God made. And every herb of the field, before it grew, for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth. And there's not a man to tilt the ground, guys. And then look what God, God said. Uh, we're going we're gonna to skip a few verses, and we're going to go all the way down to the place where God created Adam. But first you read that at home, okay? That will, like God created a mist to come up and water the earth. Now, verse 7, And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground. Now, you think about that. Marcel, we get, when we're kids, we play with Play-Doh, like the potter and the wheel. We make things out of clay. So God took the very dust of our earth and created a man. Everybody think about that. How big is God? Enormous. Can you create a man or woman in the, and make it live and walk and talk? No way. Out of the ground, the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living soul. The very air you breathe, if it's cut off, you die if you're off long enough. You've got to think about this God you serve. And he's a great creator, Marshall. He made everything for earth, the earth, the flowers, all this scientific stuff and new technology. He gave man wisdom how to do it. It didn't just fall out of the sky. Mm -mm. And they can't take any credit. It's God's wisdom. Right? Right. So, Marshall, when we're talking about how big God is, we read here. I'm going to read to you what he did, how he made Adam. All righty? All righty. And the, I'm going to go, go to verse 18. And the Lord God said, It's not good that man shall be alone. Now here's another scripture about husbands and wives. Amen? A lot of preachers, i got to say this, a lot of women, they tell me, I'm married to Jesus, I never need a husband. Don't they, Marshall? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, <laughs> you know I'm telling you the truth. How many's heard that? Right? Tell, say Hallelujah. But God wants you to have someone to love you and cherish you. He wants you to have a wife or a husband, vice versa. If you're a woman, he wants you to have a man husband. If you're a man, he wants you to have a woman husband. I mean wife, sorry. And he wants you to read his holy word and begin to love him and serve him. And you're all going to have bad habits or problems. Every one of us do. But loving each other, we overcome, don't we, Marcel? Mm -hmm. You want to tell one thing how you overcome? You know, it, it's so amazing because it says that it's not good for men to be alone. And, you know, the scripture teaches us that when two come together in agreement and unity and prayer, God changes things. Yes. And, 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 and that brings me to mind, you know, when I was single, I didn't have a husband. You know, I had a longing to have a husband, and I prayed for one for 13 years. And when I... I, I got a husband, you know, I was really happy. And, and now when I have a problem, I go to my husband and I pray with him. 
and he helps me, supports me in my ministry, supports me in the prophetic calling that I have. He supports me in, in, in you know, the things that I want to do, like lose weight. And he's the first one to, to help me to stretch so that I become closer to God and go to the next level. You know, and, and it's not good for men or women to be alone. And I, I have seen that revealed in my life. Um, and, and sometimes people, because of circumstances, become men hater or woman hater. You know, whatever your circumstances are, be open to what God wants to give you. He might want to give you a husband. He might want to give you a wife. Don't let the past hinder your future of what God wants to bless you with. Amen. And they're not always perfect. We're not no. always perfect. You help each other overcome and you don't just drop them because they make a mistake. You work together. And here in the scriptures, it says, verse 18, I will make him a helpmate for him. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field. He, the birds, it says, you keep on reading. And even, and Adam called every living creature that was named there. Otherwise, he named them. Okay, then God, verse uh, 21, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep. Otherwise, he put Adam to sleep to fall upon Adam. And he slept. And then God took one of his ribs, Marsa. Wow. How big is this God we serve? Wow. Laid him down and opened his side. He was the first surgeon in the world, by the way. Amen. And opened his side, pulled out a bone. You men have one less rib than us women. It's scientifically proved, so there. And then look what he did. He made a woman. Wow. How big is this God you serve? Wow. I hope we're building your faith tonight. You could never do that. God don't allow that. He did it. Amen. And closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib, which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman. Everybody say woman. Woman. Woe men. <laughs> right, Mars? How would you say woe men? <laughs> With my and, accent. And brought her unto him. And Adam said, this is now the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. So as we talk about how big is God, he, the very dust and on, it clings to your feet on, as you walk. You stop and think, boy, God created man out of the dust of the earth. And Marceau, many years ago, I met this man in, in uh, a pastor topping. He's from L.A. Mm -hmm. And he had got my book on hell. And he read it. And he did said, oh, I don't believe none of that. I'm just going to, I don't believe in those kind of revelations. And he hadn't had the Holy Ghost long. Mm -hmm. He got the baptism. So Marceau, I'll make it quick. So he said he's in his office and in his study chair and he had thrown my book on the table and all at once God, God put him in a deep sleep. Wow. And, and the spirit of the Lord fell upon him and said, okay, you don't believe in revelations. He said, come with me. God translated him back in time when he made Adam out of the dust of the ground. He showed him how he made Adam. Wow. He took a, he said there was a wooden type box about the size of this table here. And it was filled with, with brown dust and mist and like a, a glory, glory in it, Mars. So it all dust. Mm -hmm. And he saw the back of a man and gray hair and a pair of hands. And he went inside the dust, picked it up, and began to form it like clay. Wow. And he made a man. Wow. And God showed him how he opened, made it. Uh, uh, everything about him was like he was dead. And he opened up his mouth and breathed into his nostrils. And he became a living soul. And he, the Adam sat up and looked around. Wow. And God said, very good, very good. God can do anything. Wow. <laughs> Amen. So, brother, Ad, he was taken from history of history in the Bible up to the crucifixion of Christ. And he even got to go in the tomb when Christ was laid in the tomb and when, he was, when his father raised him from the dead. And he said he saw again the same man in the beginning... And then he saw the Lord God Almighty over his son, Jesus. And he saw the back, and he was weeping and hugging his son. And he saw the Lord, Mars. I makes you want to cry. Wow. Touch every part of his wounds, Marsal. Wow. Every part of him. 
And then he breathed into his son and he set up totally whole. Wow. Jesus Christ. And then he went down into hell. Wow. So God is awesome. And he said, God is good. God said, that is good. So Jesus Christ is our new covenant. Yes. Jesus Christ came and shed that blood so that we can be healed and we can be sins washed away, our dirty sins. You don't have to pay all the price he did. You have to believe and repent. Say, Lord Jesus, I love yes, you. We Come love into you, my Lord. heart. Save my soul and forgive yes. me, Lord Jesus. I don't care if you've got to do it every day. Preachers are day are saying you don't have to repent. Well, fooey, you really do have to repent. That's a key to coming closer to God's heart. There's a time and a season that God is drawing people unto him again. Yes. And he told us today, you tell the people how big I am. You take this opportunity yes. and to let them know that I can raise the dead. I can put people back together again. I can give people teeth. I can fix toes, legs, crippledness. I can do anything, saith God. And he said, unbelief has blocked so much of his miracles, but also criticism. Marceau, people make fun of the way we pray. Yes. We have to be led of God, don't we, Marceau? Yes, and mockery. God, yeah, mockery. And, and like we're talking about his greatness, probably half of you are mocking it. Well, if God would give you a dream about hell, you would never mock God again because he is a, a powerful God. And he's not no little bitty wimp scared to move in the corner. He has angels 30 foot tall that do warfare for you when you're in trouble. He has uh, some angels, you will not believe their size, 50 foot high. Amen. Then he's got four foot high, five foot. He's got angels of all sizes in every rank. And they work for him to help us, Marisol. You know, people think that He's the Almighty God. I want to. I was reading Ezekiel thirty-six twenty-three, and this is the Lord speaking. He says, "I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, Hallelujah, which has been profaned Hallelujah. among the nations, <clears throat> which you have profaned in their midst. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord," declares the Lord when I prove myself holy oh. among oh, you hallelujah. in their sight. You know, and, and, and all you have to do is look around and ask him to remove the veils from your eyes to see hallelujah. that he's in our midst. Yes, Marzo. He's in our midst in creation, in the sun, in the air, hallelujah. in the wind. You know, every day when you wake up, who, think, who gives you life? He does. Marcel, you're so right. You know, it is amazing. How many times has he saved us, Marcel, from death? Oh, many, many times. Many, many times. You know, he says in his words, in his word that he doesn't abandon us. In 1 Samuel 12, 22, it says, For the Lord will not abandon his people Hallelujah. on account of his great yes. name. Because wow. the Lord has been pleased to make you a people for himself. You know, if you accepted Jesus, you belong to God. You're his. And he will not abandon you. He will protect you. He will provide mm. for your needs. He would send angels. He will send provision. He will do everything. And he's always on time. He's never late with your healing, with your provision, with the breakthrough for your family, for your children, for everything. Because in Christ, we are more than conquerors. Because he's on our side. Amen. And then, Marcel, the more we read in here and learn about God, like when Moses was to take the children of Egypt across mm -hmm. the sea, God had the angels all lined up ready to part those waters mm -hmm. when Moses obeyed him. What I'm trying to say, we're chosen of God, we're trained of God, and he wants us to be bold with him, bold with his word. We need to know how big God is, honey. He's not a fairy tale. Again, I'm telling you, he is real. 
and we made a, he made his own son be a covenant for us, Marshall. Yeah. And so he called you, you know, and he called me and he called everybody here at Bishop Nikki's television station. Every one of them have a part. Every one of us work for the kingdom of God in different ways, different, right. So he's talking to you out there tonight, whether you're in Egypt or wherever you're at, or in America, God wants you to understand how big it, what was the other scripture you had about uh, the greatness of God, Mark? Oh, First Kings yes. um, 842, <clears throat> let me what read it. What is that? For they will hear of your great name and your mighty hand Hallelujah. and your stretched arm when he comes and prays towards this house. And in Psalms 47, 2, it says, For the Lord most high is to be feared, a great king over all the earth. You know, he's in charge of everything. He is in charge of everything. He's omniscient, which means all-knowing, omnipresent. He's present everywhere. He knows everything before it even happens. Right, Marcel. Amen. And another great thing, you know, he did. He had the son, uh, the day, when he wanted the day to be shorter or longer. Which one was that? Wanted the time to stand still. Yeah, with one of the prophets. Yeah. He made the, the, the son to stand still. God did that. And who else but God could do it, Marcel? Yeah. He, he made the earth you, your own. It tells where he made the light and made the darkness. Almighty God. And I'd rather believe him a living God than a dead God. Amen. I don't believe in all these dead gods that can't answer prayer. And Marcia, I've been praying about something, that God would send revival of healing to us again. Yes. To heal our lands and heal our bodies. Many have been attacked by Satan. Many have been hurt so bad. And I know that God wants the revival to move in our land again. Yes. God wants to bring restoration and healing to all of us. Finances too, Marcia. He's a great God. And we learn him and draw nigh to him and just love him and say, okay, God, you call me for a gift. I ask surrender, I'll do it. It may be 10 years for he has you activate that gift. But he's wanting to know, will you say yes, Lord? Right, Marcel? Yes. We heard a young man yesterday. It was wonderful. He was a producer of Heaven is So Real. Devon Franklin. Devon. And he talked about the gift he had years ago to work in movies, to be a movie producer. And you got to understand, God is using many people to get our attention. These men here that set up all the sound and do our, our uh, things to speak through and all of that, they have a talent and a gift. And if they weren't here to do it, we couldn't do it. We wouldn't know beans or taters from it, would we? Mm -hmm. You have to study. You have to pray. And when he was talking about the greatness of God even last night, he encouraged our hearts. And we want to encourage your heart. To know if God has given you a gift and a calling, you pick it back up again, honey. And you say, forgive me, Lord. I want to use my gift for your will. That's how you do it, right, Marcel? Amen. And he's not going to squash you or kill you or destroy you. He wants you to come to him. I've learned something with my dear friend here, Marcel. Our God wants us to know he's there. Yes. He wants us to pay attention to him. Nugget at our hearts to get off the cell phones. Nugget at our hearts to go talk to him. Doesn't he, Marcel? Mm -hmm. And we ignore it a lot of times. Everybody does. But there's always a purpose and a reason. Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost work together to get our attention so we can get the understanding maybe something you're going through. Maybe something's happened to you. I guess the last few months, I've had the worst two months of my life in 10 years. And each time I stay focused on Christ, and then the Lord will come through and speak to me, or he'll tell me something. But at times, all of you get stressed. I know you do. And you wonder sometimes, Lord, will I ever accomplish mm -hmm. your holy will? And you think about it, don't you, Marcel? Mm -hmm. But then you pick up this word, and you read how big is our God. You read his promises, honey. You read where he says, I'm, I heal thee. You keep reading and you keep uh, drinking out of the Word of God. And, you, you, and I've learned to stand on His Word. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it feels like, we must depend on His Word. You know, and the Word of God says that He alone does great, great wonders and that His loving kindness is everlasting. <clears throat> 
Yes. You know, he's the only one who loves us everlastingly, forever, unconditional. Yes. When we are in the pit of mud and when we're doing good, he loves us so much that he gave his own begotten son, Jesus Christ, not only to save us, but to be at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. Not only that, because of the covenant that Jesus provided through the blood, we have access to healing and to so many promises. And when you have a problem that nobody can help you, no doctor, no friends, no husband, nobody, the only one you can turn to is Hallelujah. him. He will give you an answer. When my father was very sick, Mary, and that they said he was going to die and that nobody can help him, who did I turn to? My Lord. I said, Lord, I put my father in your hands and I ask you to heal him in the name of Jesus. And Father, I choose to stand in your promises. I got my Bible. I'm kind of crazy. And I put it on the floor and I put my feet on it. And then I, I found, I, I found, I called my husband that the Lord gave to me. And I said, honey, honey, come in unity with me and stand in God's promises. And you know, my, the Lord healed my father. When no one else can help you, when nobody else will love you, he will help you and he will love you. Amen. Oh, Marceau, it's so true. And when you're talking, I was thinking back years ago, I, uh, I have uh, three sons and a daughter, and one of my sons got cancer. He was a young minister, and, uh, and one year uh, he died. And I'll never forget it. Uh, it was 1500 at his funeral. And uh, I remember getting ready for the funeral that day. And I said, God, I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to know any of this. I'm just, I just love him. I know he's up there in heaven with you. I said, but Lord, I please, I just don't want to go through all this. And I'll tell you what happened. God is my witness. Our family and everybody was there. And we went down to where our seats were. And I sit down. And, I, and that's all I remembered and I asked my family later, how did I act? They said, well, you just act like you look sleepy. And we walked around, went to the, I remember waking up, walking in the graveyard. And then that's all I remember and sitting where the coffin was. And uh, I seen angels. And then I didn't remember nothing. When I got back in the car, I didn't wake up till the next day. Wow. I didn't remember. I didn't want to remember it. So what happened, uh, I had promised a church way up in Wisconsin somewhere for a tent revival. It had been on my schedule for six months. And all my family were there and they said, uh, we hope you don't keep that schedule tomorrow. We think you need to rest. And I, I got up and I was on the edge of the bed, Marsal, and one of my children came in and said, Mama, an angel came to me in the, on the park bench and talked to me and told me, you gotta go. I said, go where? And they, they, for that tent revival. Amen. It had been one there in 50 years. So I'm sitting on the bed and the Lord said, you can cry here or you can cry there. But he said, he said, uh, you know, he's with me. You know, I've already taken care of it. And he said, I want you to go. It was one day after his funeral. So I got on the airplane. I don't even remember hardly wow. doing anything. So when I got there, talk about dying to your flesh. Talk about letting God Marisol come up in you and take over. I can truly say that's one time he took me over because I had the tent revival and I was standing on the stage and I said, Jesus, this is one time you got to do it all. I'm just going to be here and talk about hell. And I feel like a robot. And he said, don't you worry. I'm going to do everything. He said, you speak my word and you do what I tell you to do and you'll see my hand move. So I got up there and I began to talk and all at once, I talked about miracles, God filling teeth with gold, silver, and platinum. I talked about uh, other healings. I talked about hell. It was a long, long message. And all at once, a guy began to play the keyboard. And then a man stood up. He had, had a oxygen tank on. He took it off. Amen. All over the tent, people were screaming and running. They'd come up and open their mouth full of gold. Amen. God filled their teeth. I never laid hands on one of them. And then the man playing the keyboard was a backsliding evangelist. And he gave his heart back 30 years running from God. One miracle, it was, it was just so awesome. 
Uh, I couldn't believe it. It was just so powerful. And then after it was all over, it was out in the field too, the tent was. And I just thank God. One lady had uh, breast cancer. Her, her breast was like a rock. And I prayed for her and I just thought, oh, well, you know, God, you're going to have to heal her. I sure can't do nothing but obey you. What happened, Marisol? Four months later, I heard from the lady. She said that that night, God totally took all the cancer right out of her chest. Wow, hallelujah. She was totally made, every one of them got a real miracle. It was a move of God, and God's showing me, Marisol, it's not us. We just had to be obedient. Mm -hmm. But it's him, Marisol, the power. Yes. When you usher in his power, Marisol, he, he loves it. He loves to heal us. He loves to deliver us, Marisol. He loves to restore lives, yes. too. Yes, yes, he loves it. He loves to set the captive free. Oh, wow. so. You know, that reminds me of Ephesians 3.20. Mm -hmm. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly. We yes. beyond yes. all that we can ask yes. or think. No matter what your wow. problem wow. is. No matter how big, whether your cancer spread to you every tiny right, cellu right. cellular structure in your body, the worst thing that you can think of. What does he do? He is able to do far more than abundantly above all that we can ask and think according to the power that works within us, the Holy Spirit. Ooh, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit hallelujah. comes. Hallelujah. And, and the anointing comes and breaks the yoke and then comes the breakthrough the healing the miracle that you need but you got to look to him yeah. hallelujah in faith trust hallelujah him. you know i've waited for 13 years for a husband 13 and god did far more than abundantly and gave me a mighty man of god he sure did, Marcia. And you know, and, and he, what is the miracle that you need? The Lord we serve, he loves you so much. If you seek him, he will restore. He will free your children from addiction. He will heal your pancreas. He will heal mm. your diabetes. Hallelujah. He will restore your marriage. Hallelujah. He will take away the, your epileptic seizures. He can do Ooh, everything hallelujah. that you ask him when you seek him first and the kingdom. Then he grants us the desires of your heart. And then because you're walking in alignment with him, trusting hallelujah. and in faith, you have access to the promises in the word. Amen. And I've seen him, though, Marcel, uh, heal people that are sinners. I've seen him heal little babies, Marcel. They don't even know God's word. And I've seen them be healed, legs grow out, and overseas how uh, different things God would show in the spirit of like how it's Satan, then it's a accident, then it's a normal disnormity, it's a uh, birth defect, mm -hmm. and he has to do that, Marcel, many times, and he will speak to me and he'll show me the affliction, just like me and you coming tonight. God spoke to us that we discern somebody watching tonight has stomach cancer. And God wants to heal you, honey, tonight. We're going to pray for you tonight. And there, we have phone lines here you can call in also. But Marcel and I both discern that the Holy Ghost don't lie. And as we were talking on the way here and coming here, the Lord showed us somebody watching tonight has stomach cancer. And if you're watching, could you call in now? And Bishop Nikki and, uh, and I'm here and Marcel and another, and we'll pray for you. And we'll believe God to heal you because... When you have a discernment of a disease, Marcel, in a service, and if you don't acknowledge it, then it's activated, Word of God, to heal them. Yeah. A sword of God comes, the Word of God, and it's written in there, I'm the Lord thy God that healeth thee. And then there's fire that comes from the Holy Ghost that burns out that disease. And many, many miracles happen, sweetheart. And sometimes God's been giving me knowledge how it works. But it's always his word that's word, spoken and worked. We couldn't do it. It's the Holy Ghost, right, Marcel? Yes. And you know, the other night, let me give you a testimony because the word of God says by the
the power of the testimony you will overcome. We also had a word of knowledge that came that somebody had problems with um, their ears ringing and something in their brain. And then, you know, we were in a meeting and we kept asking everybody. We kept pestering because we know the Lord was going to heal somebody. And needless to say, there was a young woman who had seizures. Grand and we, mal. Yeah, and, and we prayed over her. And the Lord, you know, healed her. We're believing God healed her. Yeah, virtue went you into know, her. You know, virtue went into her. You know, God, he wants to bless you. He wants to, te to do so many things in your life. When the gospel is proclaimed and Jesus exalted, the miracles, signs, and wonders come to confirm the gospel. Right. Okay. Yeah. And it's so, he wants to touch you. He wants to touch you. Amen. Marcel, tell them, I don't think they understand what a word of knowledge is. Tell them that's one of the gifts. That is one of the gifts of the Spirit. Of the Holy Ghost. That the, the Spirit shows you that somebody has a disease so that you can pray and the Holy Spirit can heal that person. Right. Amen. And, and, and you're in a service and you say, I'm discerning by the spirit that somebody has an earache and then that person, that raises that person's faith and they come and they get healed, amen? And you know, a lot of times people, Marcel, say that's not of God, that it's of the enemy, but that's a lie. Because mm -hmm. when God has chosen evangelists, preachers and teachers, and they're preaching God's holy word, God said signs, miracles and wonders will follow them from the preaching of the word. That's why Jesus came to tear down the devil's kingdom, to tear down sickness and diseases, and to give us new hope. Just like your scripture in Jeremiah, he's got his purpose and plans for us, honey. And I believe that uh, there's somebody watching tonight mm -hmm. that really needs a miracle from that cancer in your stomach. Mm -hmm. And when we pray for you, you're going to get sick at your stomach and throw up, but God's going to deliver you. Amen? Mm -hmm. And maybe there's some, there's some people watching, I believe, with back trouble. Your backbones are, are disintegrated. God can give you brand new bones. Think of Adam, how he just made him out of the dust of the ground. If he can make a man, honey, he can surely heal your bones. Mm -hmm. When God says it, it's manifested. It's not our flesh, but it's God seeing into your heart and where you're at. And I see a man, Marisol, wow. in the Spirit of God showing me so he'll understand I said, you're in a wheelchair. And the Holy Spirit said he wants to heal you. There's a problem of paralyzed. You're paralyzed from something. And God wants to release that and heal your nerves in your neck and your back from where, what happened to you so you can walk again. And we're going to pray for you, right, Marshall? Yes, and I, I, there's a, someone who's watching has problems with their jaw. Right here, you have pain in your jaw and with chewing, and you have, um, God wants to touch you too. There's an anointing for healing tonight. Praise God, honey. Amen. And I feel like as other people don't understand what we're saying because there's so many strange things out there. But Jesus came to give his life for us. Mm -hmm. That if we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and he came, honey to heal us, to save us, to, and to all he wants us to do is serve him and love him. And when Jesus showed me hell, sweetheart, thousands of skeletons were talking and burning, never dying for years because they, they didn't know a lot of them. They didn't understand it, and they would curse God and blaspheme God and didn't believe that he was real, sweetheart. And then uh, the Lord, when I, he and I walked through hell together, he would look and he'd say, child, I would have healed them if they had asked me. And, and as he looked at them, his, my hands got warm and blood was coming out of his hands for what he paid a price for. Never take it lightly because Jesus is Lord of all. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm going to just amen. say a quick salvation prayer. Yes. And then we're going to pray for miracles. Amen. And if you're out there and you want Jesus in your heart tonight, sweetheart. Yes. This is all you got to do. Your whole families can pray. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you just as I am. I come to you just as I am. I don't understand everything, Lord Jesus. I don't understand everything, Lord Jesus. But I Jesus. believe that you, Jesus Christ, are the Son of God. But I believe that you, Jesus Christ, are the Son of God. You came to this world. 
You came to this world to, be, to give us life eternal. To give us life eternal. Where we never die. Where we never die. So tonight, Lord Jesus. So tonight, Lord Jesus. I confess my sins to you. I confess my sins all to you. All of them. All of them. And I ask you, Lord Jesus. And I ask you, Lord Jesus. To forgive me. To forgive me. And forgive those, Lord, that have done wicked things to me. And forgive those that have done wicked things and to I me. And I forgive them, Lord Jesus. And I forgive them, Lord Jesus. And I accept you as my Savior, Lord Jesus. And I accept you as my Savior, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my and heart. And save my soul. And save my soul. And cleanse me. And cleanse from me. From all my sins. From all my in sins. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And then Helen. fill me, Lord. And fill me, Lord. With the power. With the power. Of the Holy Spirit. Of the Holy Spirit. That I may be able. That I may be able. To overcome things, Jesus. To overcome things, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for the salvation. Thank you, Lord. Now we thank you. Find a good church to go yes. to. Yes. Learn about the King. Yes. And study yourself and pray. Ooh, Marcia, I feel the sweetness of yes. God. Yes. Feel the sweetness thank of the you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As Marcel's looking for a scripture there. Yes. Uh, we're going to pray now for your yes. miracle, honey. Yes, Lord. Uh, the person that has stomach cancer. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Put your name. hand on your stomach, honey. Yes, yes. And Father God, we reach out yes. tonight. By yes. the power of your wisdom, God, in yes. your word. We can't do it. And yes. we ask for a creative miracle in yes. the stomach lining. Yes. Yes. We curse that cancer at the roots in the yes. name of in Jesus. Jesus name. We curse you, cancer. You dry up in the yes. roots in, Jesus in this name. child or this in adult Jesus in the name, name of Jesus. You yes. come out of them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, we Father. ask for them to feel the witness and the healing yes. power of Christ. For boldly we speak what yes, we believe, in Lord. Yes, Jesus' name. And we believe you're going to totally heal this person. Yeah. They're going to call this TV session. Yes, Lord. And tell that the Lord healed you. And you'll get yes. a doctor's report that you're healed of cancer. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. And I amen. pray for the man in the wheelchair. Yes, Lord. I pray for the Spirit of God yes. to touch your spine. Yes. Take your nerves in there and repair yes. them. Yes. Remember how great he is. Yes. Hallelujah. He took a rib out of Adam yes. and made a woman. He can surely touch your spine, darling. Yes. And have you walk again. And he's manifesting his healing power tonight. Yes. Just receive it. You don't have to understand it. Yes. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe and I receive my miracle. Yes, Lord. You have another word of knowledge, Marcia, about you know, the jaw. The jaw, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that person with the jaw. Father, we just declare healing in the name of Jesus over them. Oh, restoration, Father. Restoration from that joint, that maxillary surgery. Father, in Jesus' wow. name, we just thank you for that, Father. We just thank you that you touch people, that you heal them, that you restore them in the name wow. of Jesus, Father. You know, and the Lord brought me to mind Philippians 4. Six to seven, you know, when you're in Christ, you don't have to be worried about anything. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You know, he will guard you. He will give you complete peace if you trust him, if you come to him. You've accepted him as your Lord and Savior. So now learn to be in him. Lost, learn to trust in him. And don't be anxious for anything. Because all things work for the good of them that love the Lord and walk according to to his righteousness, Mary. Yeah, and you know, God give us the uh, gifts in Corinthians to yes. the, the, the people to help the body of Christ and mm -hmm. sinners and saints. Uh, we prayed for a young girl the other night that had another girl, a little Korean girl. And when I went to pray for her, I had f not really used my gift of miracles in a long time for brains, cells to regrow. And all at once, the power of God shot through my hand like a energy force wow and i couldn't take my hand off her head for like five minutes and i kept praying in the spirit because the spirit of god knew 
everything she needed. I didn't. So I just let God use me and prayed and prayed and prayed. And right before my eyes, her eyes cleared up, her countenance cleared up, and she shook her head. She said, oh, my goodness, I feel so much better. See, God knew what that little girl needed. And I was just praying for a lot of people. But when it came to her, God stopped everything just for her. And I thought, and she got saved. She got the Holy Spirit. And then God, God healed her, I think, before that. But what it is, God wants you to know you're, you're real too. You're important to God. So call the station, please, so we can pray for you on the phone also. You have Amen. another word, Mars, our knowledge? No, I, I don't have another word, but you know, As a baby. life is difficult. You know, yes. we live in a time where people are worried about finances, the economy, the television, all kinds of things. The world can really bog you down, can. Oh. You know, our only hope is in Christ Jesus. I really don't know that how people that do not have the Lord make it every day. All you have to do is turn on the 6 o'clock news, go to Facebook, Go to Twitter, go to CNN, Fox News, and you watch 10 minutes, and you'll be overburdened, won't you, Mary? Well, um, also, the Lord's speaking to me. There's a baby, Mara, so uh -huh. you and I have to come in agreement. The, yes. There's a little baby that I don't, I don't see everything unless God tells me, but it, this baby has a brain problem. I don't know if it's a mongloid baby. I don't understand it, but I think it has to be fed with a tube. And God wants to heal your baby. Amen. And I don't know where you're at in the United States, but we're going to pray for your baby right yes. now. And Father God, we yes. lift up this little child just by your wisdom, God, and your words you're speaking to us. And by faith in you, God, we send the word to that baby. God, you made the brains. You, you made Adam's brains. You made everything. Reach down tonight and give that little darling brand new brain cells. Jesus I name. speak creative miracles in Touch Jesus' and name. Agree. In the mighty name of Jesus, that this baby be totally healed and restored from the, uh, this birth defect, God. Make that baby well that it can eat again on its uh, normal and it can breathe on itself. Breathe like a normal baby, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Mary, the Lord is showing me a lady who had bunion surgery, and she can't walk. She's had a very hard time with the wow. recovery. We speak life into yes. you, and we declare life. that your In feet Jesus will name, be restored. You will be life, able to life. walk so you can get back to work. In the name of Jesus. In yep. Jesus' name. And I see a young woman with a um, a job application on an envelope. Yes. And, 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 and you're desperate for a job. So we bless yes, that application. Yes. We bless yes, it. Yes. We ask for the Lord's favor and grace over your, that yes, job application, honey, yes. that job that you are applying. And we declare in the name of Jesus that the Lord will open doors for you, for you I to agree. have a job and provision I agree, in the Marcel. name of Jesus. Jesus. And Marcia, I believe that the Holy Spirit's moving in the out of people we don't eat, don't show yes. the problem. But he wants you just to receive your miracle. If you're feeling hot, heat come on you and you have a problem in your body, claim your miracle, right, Marcia? Yes. And uh, I agree with that. I think he has another one he's going to tell you. He said, yes. told me to be quiet. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, there's someone. Oh, if the Lord wants to heal diabetes, in the yes, name of yes. Jesus, we curse diabetes, yes. type 1 and type 2. Yes. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, there's a lady with like a light blue shirt, and you wow. are metamorphosed. Wow. And we just speak healing into your life from Amen. type Amen. 2 diabetes. Wow. In the name of Jesus. You're in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that you're healing her. Yes. You're touching her. Yes. And, and your feet swell up because of the diabetes. And wow. you have problems. And, and they've even said that they might have to amputate your legs. But in oh, the name of Jesus, we, we name come of Jesus. against that in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord We Jesus. declare Heal, your Lord. feet healed in Jesus' name. Your circulation restore. 
in Jesus, Jesus name. name. In Jesus name, amen. And we still want to tell you also, keep going to your doctor till they take you off your meds or whatever. Just don't stop taking your medicine and believe that Jesus is king and he can heal you, honey. And Marcel, that's so true. There's so, diabetes is killing so many people. Yes. And that's what I want to move of miracles, Marcel, for the people of God and Amen. sinners and saints. And we need it, Marcel. Even the little animals need miracles. Yeah. There's been such a, a, a move of sickness in our earth. We need you use God. Let God use you in your calling. Right, Marcel? Yes. In yeah. Jesus' name, if you have a call, you know, you have calling and you have gifts, don't hide it. Use it for Jesus' glory. And, and to expand the kingdom, whether it's a gift of teaching, a gift of healing, you're a prophet, the Lord gives you prophetic words. He used your gift, whether you are an actress or a singer, a writer, use your gift in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, we love you very, very much. We love you very much. And I want to pray. If we have, you know, raise your hand, Father, in the name, and touch the part where you're sick. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come in agreement with all the people that are sick, that are watching for their healing in Jesus' yes, name. Yes. We just thank you, Father, for the healing, for healings in Jesus' name. Oh, we just thank you, Lord, and we just praise you and we worship you, Father. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Wow. And we yes. take this great opportunity. The door has opened to let yes. you know Jesus loves you. Call upon him and he'll hear you when you call. He's a wonderful God, Marshall. He is. And, and he, all you have to do is, Lord, and you seek him, you will find him. You know, he loves you so much. Amen, Martha. He loves you so much. He wants to bless you. He, he's a great, mighty God. The Word of God says that the earth is a footstool for him, you know. He loves you. He's wonderful. He wants to bless every area of your life. He wants to give you peace. He wants to give you healing. And most Amen. importantly, he wants to have fellowship Amen. intimacy with him and for you to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That's Amen. the best thing that it could ever happen to you. That's the fulfillment, to have fellowship mm -hmm. and to know the Lord Jesus and to follow him in the power of the resurrection. That's my favorite scripture. You know, and it's been, it's been an amazing program. I've had a lot of fun with Mary talking about the greatness of God and all the things that he does. He will continue to do miracles in our lives till Jesus Amen. comes. And remember to write to us at www.shalomshalom.org. Send us your testimonies, your prayer requests. We love you very, very much. And, they can, and what else do you want to say, Mary? They can call in too even when we're off the air. You There's can call in that, even when we're off yeah. the air and we'll pray with you. And remember, Jesus loves you, and this has been your program, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 2911, with your host, Dexter and Maddie's Hope Pelser, and our spiritual mom, mm -hmm. Dr. Mary Kay Baxter. We love you, and remember to watch OCN, your favorite 24 hour Christian television. God bless you, and we'll see you next week. Shalom, shalom. Amen. Thank God.